let alpha be one of the roots of the equation x square plus px plus q is equal to 0. Therefore, the second root of this quadratic equation is equal to alpha square. Therefore, the sum of the roots alpha plus alpha square is equal to minus p. And the product of the roots alpha times alpha square which is equal to alpha cube is equal to q. Let's call these results 1 and 2 respectively. Now taking the cube of both sides of result 1, we get p cube is equal to minus of alpha plus alpha square cube which is equal to minus alpha cube times 1 plus alpha whole cube. Taking the square of equation 2, we get q square is equal to alpha raised to the power 6. Adding the above two equations, we get p cube plus q square is equal to alpha raised to the power 6 minus alpha cube times in brackets 1 plus alpha whole cube. On the right hand side, taking alpha cube common, we get alpha cube times in brackets alpha cube minus 1 plus alpha whole cube which can be written as 1 plus 3 alpha plus 3 alpha square plus alpha cube. Alpha cube cancels within the square brackets on the right hand side and therefore the right hand side simplifies to minus alpha cube times in brackets 1 plus 3 alpha plus 3 alpha square which can be written as minus alpha cube minus 3 times alpha cube times in brackets alpha plus alpha square. Now from result 2, alpha cube is equal to q and from result 1, alpha plus alpha square is equal to minus p. Substituting these values, the right hand side is equal to minus q minus 3q times minus p which is equal to minus q plus 3pq which is equal to minus q times 1 minus 3p. Therefore, p cube plus q square is equal to minus q times 1 minus 3p. Moving all terms to the left hand side, we get p cube minus q times in brackets 3p minus 1 plus q square is equal to 0. And this is the required relation.